Hello everybody and welcome back to this short uh, video computer training. Today we're going to continue the um, uh, Active Directory Visual Basic script series and we will create a Visual Basic script to change the uh, user cannot change the password field in EAC in Active Directory, right? Uh, for the ones who followed us the so followed us so far, you're gonna recognize this script that we used in the last post to change the password never expire flag from uh, no to yes, right? Today we're gonna do the password cannot the user cannot change password flag, right? For those who have not been with us, we need to repeat something and the fact that security flags are a little bit harder to modify than regular properties because they uh, you need to use logical operators so you need to end the value of the user account control flag with the appropriate bit mask to test the bit find out if the flag is set or not use the OR to set the bit and XOR to toggle it from false to true or from true to false so for the user we created in a couple of posts ago we will change the password uh, we will change the uh, password no the user cannot change password flag to yes Please know that all these boolean values are expressed in bit masks, right? So that is UAC user account control is a numeric bitmap value with each bit representing a boolean value of yes or no. So you need to check, change or set only one bit in the entire scheme. That is why a logical operator must be used to, to modify these values, right? So what we're going to do, we define the constant ADF, ADS UF password can change with a value of H40, which is uh, a perfect uh, hexadecimal value to use, uh, so you can uh, uh, interact using the logical operand with uh, with the active directory user account control value, right? Uh, we set up an object and got this user from the active directory using LDAP, and then we used that user to issue a get command towards. Uh, against the Active Directory to get the user account control property as you can see right here. Then we created the if else and if uh, scheme to make sure this um, value right here actually we're going to compare this with UAC. Okay so we're going to end it with the int UAC going to be our AND operator. So we're going to logical AND this value right here with this value right here that we defined uh, as the user account control from Active Directory. If ANDing these two values uh, ends up being true, then the, the script is going to echo our already enabled message. Otherwise, we will put this value that we defined right here by XORing this value and replace this right here with the value we took from Active Directory in QAC, right? Which we took it from here using the get command. We XOR this one when you when you XOR these two values, the bit is going to be set to one and to yes, right? Then we're going to send the the um, information to Active Directory and password cannot be changed is enabled okay then end if that's that's pretty much it it's very similar with uh, the um, last script we created for um, for uh, password never expire we just modify this value the hexadecimal value and the values that we take from active directory when we, and we use the logical operand on that's it so take all these commands, paste them into a text file, change the extension to VBS and just run it against your AD and uh, you, you just need to change of course the values over here to, to match your Active Directory uh, names and properties. Okay, Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and don't forget to check out our blog watermark at the bottom of the video. Thank you.